Hi guys, it's Lucas here. Just trying to show you a bit about how I'm doing my cascading shadow maps uh, in my cryographic engine made in C++ and OpenGL. It's uh, very much bare bones right now. I'm reconstructing um, four different shadow maps on four different orthographic matrices based on the camera's view position. And they're not stacked in front of each other, but they're stacked on top of each other, getting wider and bigger every increment. So right now, I'm just coloring it in color-coded, where you have the near one red, next one is green, next one is yellow, and next one is blue. And the blue one goes all the way out, and the shadows are just low quality, but you can't even tell because you're extremely far away when that happens. So that's the concept. I'm merely checking to figure out which shadow map to grab from. I'm checking the depth with a small bias and saying, if we're past this depth value, which means that we're out of the rendering portion of this shadow map, let's just grab from the next one and see if there isn't any. All right, so I'll just show you guys a bit going out of the camera. Uh, you'll see a little bit. The shadows get a little bit less picturesque, a little bit less accurate as you go out, but in the action and while you're playing the game, this will be hardly noticeable. So generally, I think I try to pick some good values for the baseline at least that it gives a good effect that you never feel like you're really losing out on shadow quality and there you go it reaches all the way to the end that if I go any further oh it's already doing it it's gonna clip the floor plane baseline projection matrix of my camera thanks for watching guys have a good one